I was watching some footage from the 2023 Bitcoin conference this year and noticed that a lot of the creators had background noise in their videos and their podcasts. There's a new feature in DaVinci Resolve 18.5 that can fix that problem with very little work involved. So I'm gonna go through how to do it real fast, just so everyone can kind of know about this new feature. So here's some footage I recorded from the Hard Money podcast. We have Natalie Burnell and Michael Saylor. I'm going to go ahead and normalize the audio levels so that they're up to zero decibels. Okay, so it looks like we did increase it a little bit. So the audio may not have came through perfectly from my screen recording. And I'm gonna play this clip so you can hear the background noise. Hey, let's talk about Bitcoin for corporations because you were the first, the first CEO of a publicly listed company that put Bitcoin on the balance sheet. Was it a winning strategy? All right, so you can hear the background noise in the conference there. I'm gonna come over here to the Fairlight tab. And you notice there are two options here, which is voice isolation and dialogue leveler. If you don't see these, you can go to the triple ellipses up here and turn them on and off with track effects. I think they're defaulted to off, so just keep that in mind. So we're gonna go ahead and turn on both of these. And then you can pull up the panel to determine how much of this effect you'd like to apply to the audio. In general, I normally just mess around with the effect on the noise isolation. So now with them both on, I'm going to replay the audio and turn it on and off a few times just so you can hear the difference. So this is now with it on. Hey, let's talk about Bitcoin for corporations because you were the first, the first CEO of a publicly listed company that put Bitcoin on the balance sheet. Okay, and this is with the voice isolation off. Was it a winning strategy? Yeah, it's worked out really, really well for us. Um, since we started, our enterprise market value has gone from about $600 million to more than $6 billion. So we've 10x the enterprise value of the company. Um, if we trace our, our performance back uh, to August of 20... So that's the easy way to do it. All you have to do now is deliver this content however you like. Uh, you can deliver it in just your same video format or as an audio file only if you're doing podcasts. So that's all I wanted to show, and I uh, hope y'all got something on the video.